If you've ever shot something from a lookout tower, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I've definitely been making a lot of waterfowl content here of late, and that's because it's genuinely a lot of fun. I honestly regret not getting into it much sooner than I have, and I just gotta say, it's so much fun. But don't worry, that's not exactly what this video is about. However, it is a good showcase for some of the things that we are going to be testing today, and that is, of course, perks. I've made videos in the past about some perks and stuff, but I've never actually done the work to sit down and actually test some of these out to see what in the heck they actually do. Now I have. Um, gotta say, some of these shotgun perks are completely worthless. Some of them might actually be some of the best perks in the game. Now when we're looking at shotgun perks, our very first one, decrease edge blur when using shotguns, iron sights, blah, 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 yeah, it's whatever, it's something you have to pick in order to move out through the tree, but we get to tracer shot and we get to boomstick. Now, I've actually spent a ton of money at resetting my perks so I can actually buy these, and well, science confirms that these are terrible traits or perks, I do not buy these uh, unless you get super curious like myself. Uh, the ability to fire both chambers at the same time with using a double barreled shotgun, that narrows it down to the drilling rifle and the caversham, which I am currently using. Yeah, that was a waste of $20,000. It, it literally just fires both barrels. It, and you would think maybe that adds more power. It, it just, it, it makes no sense. You basically just end up wasting ammo. Don't waste your perk points on it. I'm telling you now. The other perk that we currently have selected, and not to mention it is an active perk, so when you have this active, you're not able to use the zeroing perk or anything like that, so it really kind of uh, hinders you more than it helps you. Again, with the tracer shot, interesting, but I don't see it as useful, so we'll go ahead and activate it. We've got a countdown timer, and it shoots sparkles. While it's cool, not particularly useful especially when you've done some practice and you kind of get your uh, lead set up for whatever gun that you're using I don't know really what the intended use of this is now if it worked for other weapons in the game obviously it would be pretty huge having a tracer to see where your actual rounds are going but it's just for shotguns and well the shotguns simply don't have enough range in the game I think in order to warrant having that uh, perk but let's talk about what I think might actually be the most important perk in the game recoil management last recoil when firing any weapon and able to fire a follow-up shot sooner as you can see here I don't actually have anything specced into that so we're gonna do another roll through reset my perks and purchase all three perk points into this to see just how much um, this helps us out, especially when it comes to semi-automatic weapons. So, like I said, I have made a video in the past about which perks are important. I don't want to make this video all about it. That said, we are going to go through a very quick run through of what I think, in my opinion, are some of the most important perks you absolutely need to have. Starting, of course, with rifles. Muscle memory unlocks the ability to reload your next shot without having to leave the aim mode. This one's a must have. You need to have it. That way, you can be moving around, um, have better situational awareness. Obviously, the zeroing perk is probably, in, in in my opinion, the most important perk of any of the weapon perks. To so have breath control, again, uh, when you start the game out, you are just shaky McShakerton. You can't hit crap. You couldn't hit a barn if you're standing in it. Very, very important to have. Uh, decrease op wobble when in ammo using any weapon. Again, extremely, extremely valuable. This one's worthless trash it let's get rid of it let's sign a petition to get something new in this point i i honestly don't see the point of this uh for any reason the wind has such a low impact on bullets if any that it's literally worthless focus shot holding your breath increases zoom when using rifles with iron red dot or holographic sights maybe if you're into those optics that could be useful however i am not so we're not going to waste any perk points into that going into handguns Unlocks the ability to reload all weapons while running. I personally, this fits my playstyle. This is a very important perk to myself, so I definitely recommend using it. Uh, quick feet, 
Steady aim, faster changing stances when using handguns. This one is kind of one of those worthless ones. That said, damage from animal attacks is reduced for a short dur gener uh, duration after landing a shot on an aggressive animal. Uh, oddly specific there, game devs, but uh, I don't know. Take your pick. I used this to get to this one right here, in my opinion, is a very important one. Lightning hands decreases reload time of all weapons. This is huge. This very significantly increases your reload speed. This is Call of Duty style quick reloads. I honestly cannot play without this perk now after having used it for a long time. I played the game without it. Can't recommend it enough. When you get down to the shotguns, this is where it gets special. Decrease Edgeburg again entry level perk. Increase the speed of entering and exiting A mode when using any weapon. Again, if you're like myself and like to play on the move, this one's very important. It's going to allow you to aim down sights so much faster, get on target faster. Very important perk, highly recommend it. And we just spoke on the tracer shot and boomstick. Dumpster fires in my opinion. Body control, this one, yeah. Uh, maybe it's important somehow. I haven't really noticed the effect of it. If you guys have, let me know in the comments below. But again, the most important, and I haven't gotten there quite yet, we're gonna test it here in the shooting range, but probably one of the most important perks when using firearms, recoil management. Less recoil when firing any weapon and able to fire a follow-up sooner. Again, I really see the usefulness, uh, usefulness this, if I could talk, with semi-automatic firearms like the 308 M1 Garand or maybe even some of the pistols or even the 22. Gonna test that out here in the shooting range. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with and without this perk just to see how much it helps. And last but not least, we get to archery and unfortunately, well, specking all into the perks that I do have, we can't actually put any points in archery. If you are into using bows in this game though, they are incredibly useful and I do recommend you use them. Uh, that's one of those, what's your most common play style? If all you're doing is bow hunting, absolutely. I recommend basically all of these, um, especially pumping iron now that they've actually reintroduced its ability to work in the game. This makes all your bows even more powerful than they already are, making bows among some of the most powerful weapons in the game. You can punch through basically anything from any range and it's incredible. Um, so again, if you're just primarily using bows, if that or if that's your thing, definitely recommend specking into these. But because we are being firearms based in this video, we have no perks put into uh, that category. Um, again, if you change your mind in the future, you can change it. Uh, it costs in-game money. It's very expensive to do. But when you get bored or want to try new things out, it's definitely something you can do. So you can see that recoil management is obviously a very useful perk when it comes to using firearms in the game. That being said, it is definitely not a requirement. You can get good at the game without using that perk. If you want to manage it differently and you know spec into bows or pistols or whatever, um, there is that option. You can obviously get good without that. It just makes it so much easier. I will say though, I myself played a very long time without the recoil management perk and it was a bit of a learning curve actually getting used to not having as much recoil. I'm playing on controllers so it took a lot of practice to get used to not compensating for that recoil. Your mileage may vary. Let me know in the comments below which you guys think are the most important perks in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.